Hello? Hello? Can you hear us? Hello? Hey, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How's it going? Am I muted? No, no, no. We're here. We're here. It's fine. <laughs> hey, yo. It's, ah, our, it's, it's our weekly, it's our weekly collab and I got to choose the topic, but man, we're like running, we're running. It's a weird day today. We're all sleep deprived and desperately playing Fall Guys for something. I don't know what's going on there. Ah, yes. Today is the last day to to get the Sonic rewards for the Fall Guys collab, so. Is it worth it? Is it really worth playing Fall Guys? Ah, uh, yeah. The suffering? You know. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. All right, maybe maybe I'll check it out. Maybe I'll check it out. But like, it's yes. like right up until the last minute on the prep for this, like Fall Guys, and then you're gonna play afterwards, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Are you still playing right now? <laughs> like, I can't hear you. No, what are you talking about? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I can. Yeah, I'm totally not playing Fall Guys right now. <laughs> I feel like uh -huh, one, I playing. feel like one of you guys because I hear like the clickety clacking, so I feel like one of you guys is like, trying to like low key. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get into it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> I am Vesper Noir, the resident scholar of Hollow Stars English and a member of the Guild Tempest. Today, I'm the one leading our full guild collab. And uh, of course, like, because it's a full guild, all three of the boys are here. You guys want to introduce yourselves real quick and then we can jump into it. He's starting right. off. Yeah, Axel, you're, you're the closest to Vesper. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. we'll do Axel and then, okay. yeah, Magni and then. Hey guys, good morning. It's the guy who got outed by Papa <laughs> Noir. What's the name of Axel Stereos? What's up? <laughs> Norakas. No. <laughs> hey, listen. Vesper is all about a channel, right? But I'm all about. Hey, oh, hey hold on a second. Hold oh, on. Wait, a, I didn't hear. I didn't hear this. Hold on a second. Oh. Hey yo, oh, my oh, time. Oh. Just cause I, just cause I beat the shit out of you in public <laughs> party, that doesn't mean you can out me like this. That doesn't mean you can out me like this, sir. But hey, you know what? I guess turnabout is fair play. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, you know, right, I'll take. That. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I just have a different opinion compared to you, Mr. Vesper. That's that's. We we Wait. both we both we both just admire the hardworking staff. Okay, that's Axel. It. That's how it. how's Yago-san gonna feel about this? <laughs> oh, oh what happened to that? Well, well, I mean, the hey, boss. Oh, I see him. I see you guys interacting a bit too much on Twitter. You know, you and Yago-san <laughs> with this chair. Are you <laughs> jealous? We don't. Need I to, feel. We don't need to worry I about feel it. The box is broken. The bomb yeah, stick feel... is completely broken. Oh we yeah, that's... I feel kind of, I feel kind of NTR'd by you, Magni. You took away, <laughs> you took away Yago. Can you even <laughs> say that? You took what? away Yago san from me, you know. Uh... <laughs> What's up, everyone? My name is Magni Desmond, <laughs> <laughs> the alchemist of Guild Tempest, Hollow Stars English. Good to be here, Vest. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always happy to have you guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah. hello. I'm Regis Altair of Hollow Stars English, leader of the Tempest Guild. What's up? I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, we're all kind of sleep deprived, right? Okay, we'll have like we'll have like a laid back chat. I want to ask you guys a couple questions, and then I'll mm -hmm. I'll do like a mini lecture. I had a PowerPoint, guys. Like I actually built a PowerPoint with like pictures and stuff, <laughs> but I did like a practice run, and that alone was like 35, 40 minutes. And it's like nobody wants to watch this shit and you guys uh, would just have to be well here's the thing like we're doing a collab and you guys would be dead silent for 40 minutes like watching <laughs> talk and it's just i don't want that like i don't i don't want that for a collab we could do that i could do that like for a solo stream later on right but for yeah, this for, okay yeah. i i totally understood that yeah oh he, he's, he's coming behind it oh he's flanking he's flanking, he's flanking. oh my god Today, today's the last day can I, you I even thought... get flanked in in fall guys like what are we talking yeah, they about they can grab you the tail grabbing game oh. they should add like more violent features to fall guys like what? I should. I want to like kill the other Fall Guy beings. <laughs> Isn't that just Among Us at that point? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, same. okay. Like we're gonna we're gonna dial it back. We're gonna put away the Fall Guys. We'll, we'll do. We'll play afterwards, right? And we just jump into <laughs> it. We'll just jump into it. Um, I wanted yes. to open with a pair of questions, and I want to hear you guys talk about it, and then we could like, it, it segues into what I want to talk about. All right. So the first question is, do you, do you have like a favorite RPG game? It could be Western or, or JRPG, like either of them. I think I know yeah, Altair is, isn't Shadow. it Zelda? Altair. Is that is that classified as an RPG? I would say what, it's, Yeah, what is an like RPG? An action RPG, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, can you describe game. what an RPG is? It's a role-playing game. So it's just like, it has like a named character and then you, you insert into the character and then you experience growth and change mm. and yeah. And then, you know, there's like, there's like That's a pretty broad umbrella I, then, huh? 
a lot of games could yeah. be RPGs, right? As long as you as long as you play as like a single character. Yeah, and you know, like there's general hallmarks like stats and levels, HP, uh, MP, uh. spells. It doesn't have to be spells, but like you know, I would consider, for example, like Mass Effect. That's definitely an RPG. Ooh. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, we could just go in order. Like Axel, I think I know because yeah. we we have similar taste. Axel, like for RPG. Uh, yeah. What do you got? I'm a I'm a Final Fantasy Nine, oh, Final so Fantasy good. Seven Crisis Nine. Core fan. Oh man, I'm just a <laughs> oh man, the Final Fantasy series. Ayo, hey, Square Enix, take my love. <laughs> oh, well, well, okay, not gonna lie. Nine was by technically technically by Square, so Square take my yes. biggest love, and then upcoming oh, I'm like not Crisis. That. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Your biggest love, what? really? You're just gonna give it away that that freely? Oh, it's different. Okay, that's a different. <laughs> Hey yo, why are you guys like this, man? Ah. I, I love how Axel's like busting out the glasses, and then he 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 belts out like the trivia, like really deep Final Fantasy Square trivia, like like the division between yeah, the companies it's... and stuff like that. Yeah, it's good, stuff. <laughs> good choices by yeah. the way. Like I like both of those. Mm. Um, what about? Yeah, it's just just hits a bit different, you know, back then, back it's in good. the days, you know. It's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magni, do you got do you got a favorite <laughs> RPG? Could be any. Yeah, my favorite RPG is Yakuza Zero. Good one. Yeah. Yeah. Is Yakuza an RPG? Let me think. I would say it is. You, right? you have stats. You level right? up. You have, you have stats. Yeah. You level up. Character development. Um, I wonder. Yeah. There's a plot. Characters. It's not like there's no like party system or anything like that. But does does Yakuza count? It's an action RPG for sure, right? It's not a turn based RPG. Uh yeah. Oh, and then uh, they did Yakuza like a dragon. I think that'd be more. Yeah, like a dragon closer. is definitely like a yeah closer to like so, a classic. So if I RPG. could just say like the Yakuza series, I've only played like four of them. Yeah, three, I, three, I, four of them. I would personally say that it counts. Yeah, and it's good taste, really good. Uh, I'll tear it. I guess Zelda, right? Mm -hmm. I was actually going to give a different answer Ooh. outside of Zelda because I, I consider Zelda to be a action adventure game. I, I wouldn't consider it too much to be RPG. Maybe like Breath of the Wild is RPG. Mm -hmm. But if I were to give a best RPG in my books, yeah, Earthbound. Oh, Earthbound. I yeah. love Earthbound. Yeah, that's I love a good one. Earthbound. That's really good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Man, the feeling that's where Earthbound. you find a Saturn. You've never played? Oh, we got to get you no. to play Earthbound. I don't, I don't know. Mother 2? I don't know what that is know. either. Is that the thing with NES? Yeah, it, it's, just, it's a SNES mm -hmm. RPG, and it's like... I, I don't want to spoil anything about the stories, but like everything about that game is just so different it's from so any good. other RPG you've ever played. Um, like, if I had to sell it, the main thing that I like about Mother is... Uh, not Mother 2. Um, I just call it Earthbound, because I'm a Westerner, right? Um, <laughs> you, can, you can actually... And it's a big part of the game. You can actually get overkilled. Like, they do more than your entire HP, and your HP drops to zero. But the counter is like a literal counter, and it ticks down. And you could still take actions while you're technically dead, right? Mm. And it's like, yeah. it's just, it's good. Like, I've never seen anything like it. And and it's just, all oh, the story's good. Like, I, I highly recommend it. It's, it's really good. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, I've played RPGs before that. I played um, Legend of Dragoon on PlayStation 1 before that. But... It, I would say Earthbound is the game that completely like enraptured me. I was like, oh my god, this is an RPG. Yeah. You know? Wait, I changed my mind. Eh? Uh, I changed my mind. Uh, Dot Hack series. Oh, Dot Hack. Yeah, yeah. I think that's more akin to RPG yeah. than Yakuza Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. Dot Hack? What's that? I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> he explained it when he was talking about his waifu, right? Remember I Dot Hack? Has... It's like Sword Art Online. You remember? You guys are just so old, man. By you, the way, Vesper, you like did anime from the nineties, Vesper, man. <laughs> Vesper, did he tweet out for the stream? Did I didn't. I didn't. We're, we're, uh, see, I did. I'm telling you, you're, you're Look, so old, man. I, just, I know. <laughs> I know. Like we're we're all. I mean, you woke up like like five minutes before the stream, but Buster. <laughs> <laughs> like we're all playing Fall Guys, and you jump in, and we're just everything is just I, crazy today. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. To be fair, I, it's, it's I, pretty. Yeah. I jumped in to figure out that I've been out here. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Why am I getting bombarded with like image replies? And I was like, oh, this bastard. <laughs> this bastard. I did ask for permissions. Like I showed you guys the memes beforehand. And then like your that first. That is true. Your, do you remember your first response to, to yes. showing? Yes, I remember. <laughs> what, was your, what was your response to showing you the, the not... horny group <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, but yes, I. 
<laughs> I'm not going to say anything to that, but yes. Yes, I remember. I remember I it. Hey, yo, shut your ass. Shut your dumb ass. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Like, I have one more question I could jump into, like, a. will just talk your ear off about what makes TTRPGs cool. I think I'm talking about the history of it first. Um, so in the RPGs that you guys mentioned, was there, like, a scene or, or something that happened in that RPG where you where you were kind of dissatisfied with, like, what the character or characters ended up doing? And you were like, oh, man, if it was me, I would have done something different in that situation, you know? But, like, you didn't have a choice because it was it was an RPG where, like, it happens like that's how it was scripted in the video game and you you just have to go along with it but internally you're like i would have done it different you know fetch quests man fetch quests I freaking hate this you, <laughs> you would not so do the streamlined. you would not do the quest <laughs> you would just I, skip I it I yeah like I'm, I, I'm i i'll probably do it if it's on the way but if it's going to make me go all the way around to disregard the current goal and go all the way back to like the second zone yeah and grab this from a specific person and bring it over there but they didn't want it so they have to give it to someone else and then when i bring it to someone else they want it somewhere else and i, I hate it <laughs> yep anyway, i feel that answer. whenever yeah, i yeah. Am in the beginning in the rpgs you're, you're doing like these little stupid uh like quests for them so i i i've often found myself thinking like can i just like kill this dude <laughs> and take his you know it's like hey go oh yes young young adventurer could you could you go help me and i will give you this this thing and i'm like I, i'll just take the thing from you old man <laughs> you better give it up right now uh for for me like in yakuza zero the ending is like kind of sad mm. and you you you, you kind of be like the the bigger man uh to give up your own happiness for someone else's happiness mm. i think i would be more selfish you I know see. why do why do I just did all this arduous labor and, and like I defeated the evil or whatever? Why can't I be happy? Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so they I, don't give I, you I, the option. It's not like a you, no. It's like baked into the story mm -hmm. in Yakuza Zero. I would, you know, I, I'd get the girl, I get the gold and whatever, and I would just uh, live happily ever after than being like the bigger man or whatever. That's actually yeah. That I I can see that a lot. Yeah, and it's a reasonable way to think, right? And it's kind of like man, when am I gonna get mine? Axel? Yeah. I don't know. It was like it's like a scene I really liked and I didn't like, but like, I don't know. That that's just what makes it a great overall thing, you know. Mm -hmm. How should I explain? Um, so it's Crisis Core, right? Okay. But it's like a big ass it's like the big ass spoiler. It's like the biggest spoiler. But I'm pretty sure I mean is it really a spoiler? The game's like how old? Like ten years old or something? It's not a spoiler. It can't, I, be, I, it's, I think it can't be a spoiler. There's no right? stat. Yeah, it's beyond the statute of limitations. You can okay. Just, just well, go, well, go yeah. Let, let let's just say it's the ending of Crisis Core. Okay. So, it's obvious you already know it before you play the game. Literally, I think a lot of people who's played Seven knows it. But um, the main character essentially dies, right? Oh, I know what you're talking about. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you played so, Seven, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like Crisis Core. Like you're playing so hard, and then like you would you get this like attachment towards the main character when you're playing mm. the game right and you know he's gonna die and you know you can't save him but like there's nothing you can do about it you know and you're just there like Ugh. like and you're just there like just watching him crumble oh. and you can't do anything about it it's such a great story but then you're like if there was just one way that you could save him if there's like one like, what any any possible method or any possible way you know, you could change the future for this guy, but then you can't. I but you know, there's going to be a remake of Crisis Core soon. Who knows what happens in that remake? Yeah. There's also good. There's also Final Fantasy remake, and there's been a little bit of tweak and this and that going on. So if you want to, you know, experience something new, I guess you guys could play that as well. You know, but the original Crisis Core that came out on the PSP, you know, it, it's just it's, it's a bit sad. Oh my gosh, the PSP. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was the PSP. I, yeah. I had a PSP, and I me too. Yeah. I had I didn't have a single game, but I had a single cartridge. The only thing I had for the PSP what? What was it? was a the Spider Man movie. <laughs> oh my god! The Sam Raimi one. And I I when I was a when I was a youngling, all I did was watch <laughs> this Spider Man PSP to watch the Spider -Man. on the PSP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I, I was talking about this similar situation with the PlayStation 3 and Talladega Nights, where it was like bundled together and like you couldn't really. Yeah. Like, I guess it was just a weird situation back then. Wait, what? Yeah. Like, the original PlayStation 3, when it came out, it didn't have a game bundle. It was bundled with Talladega Nights, <laughs> which is a Blu ray DVD of like, it's a, like a Will Ferrell movie or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. We should. I I remember as I was saying that on stream, I was like, I should. If I ever want to work with Sony, I should just shut the hell up because like that's not a good thing. Anyways, yeah, we could just move on. <laughs> just talk. I think um, what Axel was talking about, where you knew it was going to happen, and then like you wish it could change, but you couldn't. That that has its roots like in in seven, like the original one, right? Like I remember when I was playing it when it first yeah. came out. Every a lot oh, of people boy. in my school really liked it, and there were like rumors about like, oh, you could actually save. Yeah, Paris, no, like you, you do could X skip, and Y and Z, right? Yeah, you could skip the bit, and then if you like skip this bit, like, and then you do a couple of glitches, like even she, even you see that she sees the eye, like yeah. she's still in the party technically, so yeah. she's not dead and stuff. And it's like what? It's just yeah. Anybody that that gets into any type of video game style RPG like has that, and then and then you know there's stuff that you wish that you could change, and then and then you you make up you make up like these crazy scenarios and, and people believe it and it's on like game facts and stuff like that it's just it, it yeah was like, it was crazy, game right? facts. <laughs> yeah, oh my god that's so fucking awesome. yeah but you know like what the actual old, it's not even game fact the oldest like thing that i used to use when i used to play these were like the actual guidebooks for like yeah. final fantasy 9 and 7 like my dad bought these like guidebooks right so every time i play it i would just like read through the like reading the guide read. itself was yeah no i'm not it's like <laughs> no, the most the pictures yes no 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 but i i, I did read the guidebook yeah. it's so fun reading the guide <laughs> that's I'm not so even cool yeah, yeah 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 no that's totally like on the guidebook yeah no on the guidebook they will have like this thing right oh go to this web page if you want to like get <laughs> more details like they had that in the like I don't know. They had like in the old guidebooks. They I would have the guidebooks. like, yeah, I yeah. miss those. Those things were like was... very dense. They, those were not mostly pictures. It yeah. was like there was a lot of like. I miss yeah. the guidebooks. Yeah. Nowadays, you go online. It's just like the in entire like thread document. Yeah. So typed out and like so meticulous. <laughs> there, a little bit of that magic is lost. You know, you crack open. Yeah, the, exactly. Mm, like the guidebook with the. You know how they had like shots. the if you played Final Fantasy and you've read the guidebooks for those, they have like the monster deck like yes yeah. monster decks or something you call it oh my god that shit was amazing dude. you just look at all the different types of monsters yep. that there is in the game and you're like wow this one looks cool and shit <laughs> one of my one of my happiest memories was when i was a kid my mother gave me shadow the hedgehog for the gamecube and <laughs> and the guidebook for it and i read that guidebook more than i played the game probably no way i'm Did not gonna lie i did same, same too more than i played the actual game i read the guidebook more as well i'm not even kidding did like you, before did you, you get like draw the art, play. like copy the art in artwork, like in the in the guidebook, and you just draw it out and stuff like that. Uh, I was more advanced by that point. I was making my er hypothetically <laughs> drawing my own stuff by then. No <laughs> way, <laughs> it was too easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> I I distinctly remember tracing like like artwork from inside uh, the guide. Like I would put a piece of paper over the artwork. That's a good way to start. I remember tracing like dragon ball yeah yeah, when yeah i was yeah. like really really young yeah for me specifically mm. like the chrono trigger guide guidebook i would like trace like the characters and stuff like that mm. robo was my favorite character and i couldn't i couldn't draw him properly because he's just he's like a machine it's very difficult like it's very like <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah anyways we got we got sidetracked because of rpg talk i wanted to ask <laughs> you those questions because i think if i had to give one reason why anybody that likes an rpg should try out a TTRPG, right? It's that, like the thing that I was just talking about where like, you love the RPGs in the video games. They're really fun to play, like excellent, excellent, right? But the I would say the one distinct advantage that a TTRPG has over the JRPG is, or, or any RPG, whether it's Western or, or Japanese, is if, if you've ever, if you're at a point where you're like, I wouldn't do that, I would do something differently, you can do it. Like the entire, like whatever you want, as long as it's like a logical progression of like where your character's at, the situation that they're in, and the tools at their disposal, you can do it. You know, there's no limitation. I cast that wish, so the demon lord is vanquished. <laughs> I mean, wish, <laughs> if we're talking about fifth edition or, or even because wish is an old school spell, you can actually do that, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, can you the like. Consequences. Can you give like a very brief rundown of mm -hmm. like what. So when we're talking about this, we're talking about like 
rolling the dice, and yeah. then I imagine in my head they have the, the, the dude has like the foldable thing in front of him. Yeah, yeah, like, the DM like screen. A thing yeah, and, yeah, DM and screen. I have like a very, I, don't, I assume like a mainstream understanding where they're like, I roll for initiative, man, yeah, lightning yeah. bolt. <laughs> yes. But like, I don't, I don't really get like what, like how you could play it and how how it works without like yeah. a system, like a like a video game mm. system working. How to, how does like what is it? At its core, at its core, you should be able to play the game in the theater of the mind, like without a battle map or anything. You're just describing mm. what your character wants to do, right? Like, oh, I want my character to to run forward and attack the bandit with the bow, right? Like you'd always attack the range guy first, right? And then the DM or the GM, which would be, I guess if we ever get this off the ground, like I would be the one. I'm the arbiter mm -hmm. that decides like whether you can reach them within your turn. And then when when you reach them and you make your attack, that's where the dice comes into play, right? Because we need a random element so that it's fair, right? It adds, hmm. yeah. So are there like rules? Oh Is yeah. Is there like a, There's a, a lot. set yeah. There's a ton understood? Of yeah. Because I can't just be like, and then I became 50 foot tall and crushed yes, them all with exactly. my... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I do think... I do think it is possible for a player to play the, play the game without a, without knowledge of all the rules, right? The only person mm. that really, really needs to know is the dungeon master or the game master. Um, it's good to have like a very... I would say a basic understanding of what you're doing, but you don't need to know, you don't need to read the entire book. You know, like I could, I could give you a primer on how to play for, for example, fifth edition in 30 minutes and then you'll be able to play it. Fifth yeah. edition. Yeah. So is there like, um, a main rule set, like the meta rule set that everyone follows? Uh, Use dice. <laughs> yes. Like, especially for each system, right? Like each system plays very, very differently. So you have, you have, yeah. So, so D and D is the one that everybody knows about, right? And then, if you want to play uh, with mechs or giant robots that you oh, can pilot, you can play Lancer. Mm -hmm. Lancer is a really good version of that. Um, <clears throat> so, are there classes like set classes? I can't just be like, I can't make up my own thing. You can homebrew some stuff. Yeah, you can you can homebrew it in D and D. There are set classes, and you can even multi class. So, like, you could choose a different class and do a little bit of A, a little bit of B, a little bit of B. Are there set like uh, races? Yes, yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Can I do? You, do they have one that's like the Argonian? Uh, yeah, you yeah. Know, like, they're called the. In, yeah. If you're talking about fifth edition, it's the Dragonborn, like the lizard men. Right? All right, oh, I'm Dragonborn. You're Dragonborn. I'm Dragonborn already. Oh. I already know. Dude, we're we're skipping ahead. We're skipping ahead to like planning <laughs> what we're gonna play if we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Scaly. We can kill people in that game too. Yes, right? uh, you're <laughs> okay. kind of encouraged to. But the thing is, like. Um, and it goes into like rule setting. I guess we can go. In, I could go into it right now. I think um, a lot of a lot of issues with campaigns happen mm -hmm. before the campaign starts because the DM doesn't really go over like what they're expecting the game to be like, right? So the the two the two biggest pitfalls of any D and D campaign, especially if you have people that are playing for the first time, is one <laughs> PvP. And you can you can do PvP, but it's that's not the point of the game. It's a collaborative storytelling game, and if you just immediately start and you're just stabbing each other like while you're asleep, so so in general, <laughs> so in general, <laughs> it's kind of king. like, look, guys, like I know you can fight each other, but in general, you shouldn't. You shouldn't steal from each other. Assume assume that like you're a party that trusts each other, and like for example, like I would never steal from any of you guys, right? Like if we were out camping. Mm. Like, I wouldn't do that. Like, I wouldn't attack any of you guys, right? Like, would you, you know, like... Our underwear is safe. I mean, you guys aren't, you guys aren't zombies. Like, if you were a zombie, then it's kind of like... Oh, what I, the fuck? I'd look into, like, next of kin, you know? <laughs> you, you're never going to be zombies, so this is besides the point. We're going we're gonna to move on, okay? We're moving on. The second okay. issue, the second issue is... The fact that the player is not used to the concept of role-playing, so they're not role-playing. They're in control of a character uh, and they don't care about the character or what they're doing. So they'll end up doing crazy things, right? Like they'll be like, oh, I'm just going to run forward and attack like eight people. When like the character, unless... Right, you unless would not do that if it was actually you. Yeah, like unless they're insane, they or, wouldn't just run yeah. out and die, right? So so it's... it's Once you get past those two obstacles and, and even a brand new player understands like these two things will, will like ruin... A campaign or a session or like any type of tabletop game it gets it gets a lot more interesting now here's the thing i see that axel would not do that because axel 
is an RPG fan. He is. He's an RPG uh, fan. Like, you know, I've actually played a lot of TRPGs. I'm not even lying. Wait, no really? way. You are I'm not even kidding. Oh, I thought you said you never... Yeah. We, got, we got to talk. I thought you were new. We got to talk about no, this. But, okay, but yeah, let me let me talk about it a bit. Yeah, so, please give us I've your actually, experience. I'm actually like... I've actually played it, but the ones I played, um, they weren't in English, okay? Let's okay, JP, JP. Um, yeah, it was like JP ones. And oh. It was um more of the... Uh, Call of Cthulhu type of. Oh um, yeah, I, I played that. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's more on like the divine, yeah. like godly kind of side. Yeah. So in those type of TRPGs, there's no fighting. There's not a lot of fighting in. There's RPG. yeah. There's yeah. no fighting. It's more like yeah, like your decision making, and then you there's like many different endings and many different like yes. paths that you can cross and stuff. Yeah. It's like butterfly effect kind of shit. Absolutely. But um, yeah. Um, that was the one I started off with. So I. Like in TRPGs, like I knew I learned not to kill people and stuff because <laughs> if you go up against like divine creatures, you will get one shot and just yeah, die. like an eldritch would... god would just like yeah, yeah send you the plane to do eternal anything. torment. Yeah, yeah, yeah and you're like, so... all right, you're gonna sit there for forty minutes while the other people play. So, <laughs> so you did, you, you did know. fall into that trap. No, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> the game master was kind enough. It's your first time, right? All right, let's just say if you do this, you're gonna sit there for forty minutes in silence. Do you want that? And I was uh, like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so that's yeah, idea. I did it. So yeah, that's nice. like role playing. That sounds fun because I I have no idea oh, about it's fun any of this playing. stuff. Mm. And so there's like a balance between the role playing and. I'm assuming that's one of the big appeals of it because if you just wanted to play characters, you just play something else, right? But this seems like you get you get to like role play with a bunch of your friends and yes. stuff. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how like how like precise is the role playing versus All right. they're like the balance? Like, can I be like, oh yeah, in the night I stole a single arrow? Oh from yeah, you Altair's have, you have thing to be like and, that. And, and ah, like, you can you can play it as much as you want. For example. Mm -hmm. um, Myself as a player, I feel a little uncomfortable acting because because people could talk in the first person and be like, "I do this," right? And and they get really into it. They do voices, right? Like, and that's perfectly cool. And that's actually like a good way to play. But I usually talk in the third person, <laughs> just, mm. just oh. because I'm like self conscious. But there's no wrong way. Like you can insert, you can role play as much or as little as you want, as long as yeah, your actions totally are consistent with the world that you're playing in. Uh. Right? Yeah. Can I be like, oh no, I I didn't tie my boot tight enough earlier in the morning, and I've tripped and fallen over. You can. You can actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can sabotage anything. yourself it's, and share. Like, you can literally. And do now anything. you're dead. That that's, that's a point. difficult one. You can. Yeah. You can. You're prone, dude. Prone, being prone is bad. That's it's a like, tough one. Yeah. Like what? Like, is what? There it romance. really depends on the. It is really there depends romance? on the story, I guess. Yes, and that's always that's always like it can get a oh, little it can, it can get a little uh, squishy. It can get a little weird. That's uh, in the now that's an element dude. where it's kind of like it could get a little weird, right? I personally yeah, am okay with it because as long as you don't kill each other, as long as there's no PvP within reason, right? And as long as there's no there's no like people that are not role playing and they're playing like a murder hobo that just doesn't it doesn't like <laughs> like murder hobo and also like a kleptomaniac right where they'll just steal anything that's not nailed down and it's like that doesn't make any sense cuz like even if you were a like even if you were a really greedy character that like wanted to you know amass loot right like you wouldn't be stealing from a peasant right like it's just not <laughs> it just doesn't make any <laughs> sense right yeah like as long That's as those, up. as long as those two rules are met, like the romance thing, it can get a little weird. But I, I allow it. Like personally, as a DM, but I know other yeah. DMs that are like, no, no romance within within the party. And then there's like the trope of a bard that's like trying to sleep with anything that moves, right? Oh my god! So you play like oh, a bard right. character, oh. and like any no. any any new no. NPC that's any new NPC that that's introduced, the this bard character would be like, how hard are they, right? And and oh, I usually deal with my it. First campaign. Yeah, I usually deal with it by oh. like rolling a d10 and be like, they're an eight out of ten, right? And they're like, oh, <laughs> tell me more, tell me more, right? <laughs> and and, and the right. thing is, like, if your if your character is the fantasy, like that, like the Lord of the Rings equivalent of a fuck boy, right? You should be free <laughs> to do that. You should be free to do that. Like, I, I think you should be allowed to do that because that's the that's the character that you've made, and they're acting. I know people like that in real life, right? So I do think yeah. you should be free to do it that. It really depends on the yeah. character in game. Like, I'm not gonna lie, Magni. If you like, uh, Wait, what? what are you about if you to like say? Act, 
No, no, I'm just saying, like, I played one, like, sad scenario that was, like, kind okay. of on the romantic end. It wasn't even actually romantic. It was, like, it was a sad scenario, okay? Okay, okay. And if you, like, act into the character too much, you'll be sad after the game as well. You'll be like, hey, uh, what's that's that? That's a sign of a good DM. GM. Like, they did a good yeah, job. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, they did a really good job. Yeah. I mean, they were, like, really, really good. I mean, yeah, because they were acting as the NPCs, right? Yeah, dude, and I'm so do down to. Thing. Can we just let's just play? Let's do it. <laughs> we, I already know I'm gonna I'm gonna blindfold myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna get like a sensory deprivation tank. That and makes me so happy. And and oh, like I'll be man. floating in the water and I'll be completely immersed. <laughs> Bro, like until this day. That's scena one scenario I played. I'm like, man, if I could have saved her, bro. If I could have saved yeah. that girl, <laughs> yeah. bro. I'm like, yo, why couldn't I? It's like the Zax thing all over again, dude. Whenever someone <laughs> dies in front of me, I'm just like, oh, like, oh, I just it's couldn't. It was my actions. Oh. Call, Call of Cthulhu is like a head, like a mind game. And it's, it's like supposed to be horrifying and creepy and also just really depressing and like all of those things at once. Um... It's a it's a game where it it toys with your your agency or lack of right like because it's a game about going insane right <laughs> so I think I think crazy. I think the DM got what they wanted out of it like in terms of like you like your participation and the way that you got out of it but like if you want a game oh, with more yeah. agency then, then like a, like a traditional like D and D style game I think would be right up your alley and you get to fight more and you get to win more within reason right like you wouldn't charge into like twenty people like twenty town guards mm -hmm. and just like immediately get killed. Um, I think you would like a more like cookie cutter type D and D RPG. I think it would. I think it would be good. So, what is yeah. what are the what is the guideline for mm -hmm. like a playthrough? Because I'm like, okay, role yeah. playing that sounds fun, but how it, it's it, it would just be aimless. There has to be some yeah. like yeah. guideline for the, the a... DM is a storyteller that that guides you along the quest, and you have agency to just be like, and I, I can't count how many times this has happened to me. Like I've had like a very detailed quest line like prepared, and the party <laughs> would just decide like, no, I don't trust this guy. Let's uh, let's steal his wagon and then just go to the next town, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. And it's kind of like, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. And <laughs> you're finally awake. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, as a DM, like, you, you really shouldn't be saying, like, no, you're going to do what I want you to do. That's a sign of, like, uh, immature DM, right? Mm. And it's just, you know, you just got to go with what the party wants to do within reason. And a one way to get around that is a quest hook. And that's how you start. Right, so, first of all, the order, the order of operations is uh, a campaign with the players and the DM. We get together, like what we're doing right now, and we do a session zero, which is where we, we create our characters, right? You, you the, the players, will be creating your characters. And then mm -hmm. I always ask you guys to create a backstory, lore, if you will, about like how you met as a party, how long you've been together what makes you trust one another, right? That way, like, if you guys ever start to, like, steal from one another, I could be like, well, that's out of character because you would never do that to someone that you trust that much, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you got the characters all together, right? Uh, you have the background, you have, like, all of your equipment, and you're ready to go. Then we move, usually on a different day, into session one, right? And at session one, it's usually about 10 to 15 minutes at the very beginning where the dungeon master or the, the game master talks about the 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 quest hook or the plot hook of the hook mm. it's something like that right and it, and <laughs> this is the one bit of railroading it's called railroading when the dm doesn't really give you a choice which you should do at a very very minimum right the dm doesn't really give you a choice because in this case it's going to it's going to set up like the rest of the plot right and then you get set free and you can do whatever you want within within the sandbox that you're set, right? So mm -hmm. the plot hook is usually a quest that you've already accepted. And it's like, this is the background. This is like what you're gonna do. This is what you've been requested to do. These are the rewards that you're promised. And usually to prevent you from backing out, you usually know the quest giver, like the original quest giver, right? It's like, it's like um, we'll say Axel's character's uncle has found like, um, like a secret gold vein and he's like ter like he wants to stake the claim but he's terrified about it. and then he wants you to go back him up be his bodyguards while he's doing that right mm. i'll kill him so i can get that <laughs> that's what i'm him. talking about brother <laughs> let's go <laughs> hey let's go free insurance money Woo! wait this oh seems God. like a lot of it's like okay. a lot right, hold is on, hold on, on, a second, hold, on the hold on a second 
that situation is actually acceptable from my point of view. It's actually acceptable. Me? Um, you can get to your uncle and then you could realize that he's very isolated and he's alone, right? And then Ax I would require Axel to talk about you would need to give me a backstory between you and your uncle where you don't like him very much, right? And and like you've been waiting for a chance to get your revenge, oh. and you need to justify why you would why you would murder your uncle in cold blood and then take take his his like gold vein claim, right? I don't know, man. And, and you can't. Not I can't just be so like. <laughs> and so I can't just be like, well, fuck that guy. In general, I, it, in it general, has to be... well, for example, like in real life, if you met my 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 mother, right? And my mother had like a diamond necklace or something. Would you kill her and like take her necklace? Like you wouldn't do that, right? Like it doesn't make any sense. Please say right. no. Yeah. Please say no. Please say no. I don't know, no, man. No. Yeah. I don't okay. know, okay, man. If I was in an RPG world, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I might. You, you have to. You have to role play and be like, that's not something that. For example, you're in a party and people trust you, right? Would they trust uh -huh. you if you took actions like that regularly, right? Right. What if you make them trust you? I don't know. If you what if it happens on like a regular you? occasion? Uh, then then they just got used to it. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't party with someone like that. I would just. Yeah. Leave. Well, then I'd be like, "Hey, this guy's kind of a fuck boy. Can I roll to kick this guy out of the like? It, you wouldn't trust him." <laughs> he hangs right? out now. With my now, now we've <laughs> now we've reached like the the common way that a one session party like campaign breaks right like you do one session and it's like ah i don't think i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna come back it's you know <laughs> mm. but the the situation that you guys were talking about where you wanted to betray the quest giver blah, blah 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 you can actually do that like there's a lot of freedom and i think video games are great like you can just boot them up and you can play them by yourself like they're in a lot of ways video games are superior to tabletop RPGs, right? But this is one <gasps> this is one set case where the tabletop RPG is superior to any video game that has been made so far, you know? Where like you have that freedom within reason, within like a logical frame set of, of what your character would do, and you could just you could just do it, you know? Yeah, I got I got yeah. people I got people that are like slander. TT RPGs are superior in every way. <laughs> <laughs> It's really hard to set up a TTRPG group, right? Like, it's just so hard yeah, to get is. people together that are free at the same time. And it's just like a video yeah, game. Yeah, and it takes up. like, it takes like two, three hours for one set of scenario. And some of them goes yeah. even longer. Yeah. So, we, like, even hardcore TTRPG fans, you got it. You got to like agree with me that there's a lot of legwork and there's a lot of effort that goes into it. Not is, even if yeah. you're just a player, not to say if you're the, the, the game master, right? It's the game master it starts up with so the important. character. Yeah. It, yeah, it is. It's so it important. Is, yeah. It's it's like if the game master is shit, the whole game is going to be yes, shit. Essentially, absolutely. But yeah. like, it's painful for the player side already from creating the characters because you have to like <laughs> roll dice and you have to like. Yeah. They all have job. Like I don't I don't know if this is if this applies to the one you've played in the past, best brew, but the one I played, there's like certain roles and certain like yeah. abilities that you can like. You roll a dice. And then you get like a certain amount of points, right? Yeah. And then within, you, you can spread those points equally. Yes. Within like a certain type of like jobs and abilities. And each scenario requires different types of ability and points. Yes. You have to create different characters for each scenario. And you oh. can't run with the same character. Well, you can, but then let's just say, I mean, I feel like Scholar was one, one of the like classes or roles. Or that, that's where like. working as a party comes in, right? Like you should wow. each have very distinct strengths and like when you can't pass a certain set of challenges because your character doesn't have the requisite skills or training you can rely on a party member that does uh, and it's kind okay. of like our our group right like tempest like we all have very different strengths and we can rely that's on one another cool. yeah that's that cool. that's yeah. like that's that's a classic element of D, &D and most other like fantasy style um ttrpgs right um mm -hmm. the idea that like it's a it's a group of specialists and you're all doing what you're good at, right? So Yeah. 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 Do people ever try I assume that most people would try to roleplay characters similar to them. It's it's easier. Do you easier. ever try to play a character that's completely something that you wouldn't be in the setting? I love doing that. That's actually my jam. I love doing that. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with starting, especially if you've never played one before, getting one that's a little bit closer to your character, you know? And, and it doesn't need to have, like, any crazy quirks either, the character that you build. They mm. could just be a normal, yeah. sane person that's, um, you know, maybe maybe a little bit wealth-oriented. Like, their goal is to get a lot of money and stuff like that. And then you guys have heard of, like, 
alignments, right? Alignments are kind of mm. superfluous now. There used to be a lot of like rules going with it, like, you know, like chaotic good, lawful good, that kind of stuff. That's no longer really tied into like the rule set of the game. Like it's just a, it's just a title that you give your character. Yeah, I, I kind of felt like when, when I played, it was kind of just like a personality thing. I, it never really came up in yeah, like, like if actual you, if you play fights and stuff. The old school, the old school D&D games, like <laughs> there was actually like Back in my day. points and numbers <laughs> and calculations and it would just like give you penalties and stuff like that if you acted. It's called oh, acting oh. out of alignment and stuff like that. I, I kind of agree that... Whoa. It, it, Got your abacus on the table? Jeez. It's, it's, <laughs> it slowed up the game and I think... Oh, uh, but they do have like penalties and like debuffs and stuff in certain games like yeah like yeah like, there's like events right like some let's just say there's an event where like you need your eyesight for certain things but mm. if it, if like during that like trpg like you got attacked and you lost your eyesight or something mm. right like mm. yeah all the party members can run but you can't because you don't know where the hell you're running into. you run and then, you just trip and fall over yeah like, the first yeah thing. and yeah. then so, yeah and then and then you take it like extra damage and stuff and then your character just dies like yep, halfway yep, through yep, so yep. I, i'm listening to this and i feel like it is has there not been some sort of like game that has come out that helps you facilitate this more um, like some kind of system that keeps track of yes yes yes, yes. certain things and uh online because online tabletop gaming has become a big thing the big one yeah. right now is roll 20 and then there's tabletop simulator which you could buy which is i think tabletop simulator is actually better in a lot of ways but it mm. requires i think it requires everybody to buy it <laughs> and roll 20 uh. is free roll 20 is like completely free and in fact really even if you want to pay for it only the only this gm needs to pay for it you know, because hmm. there, there are like advertisements. There's like paid ad, like not paid, but there are advertisements in the game. Like when you load up the the the, uh. the battle table and stuff like that, it's got like maps and grids and stuff like that. Um, there's like ads, which are admittedly not like who likes ads. They're not fun, right? But if the DM pays like a really low, like a really reasonable subscription, I think it's like five bucks. Um, then there's no ads for anybody. So, I see. So so it's it's just okay. yeah. In a lot of ways, I think Roll Twenty is really good. And and that just, sounds good. Yeah. By the yeah. way, you can buy our merch, our debut merch, Hall of Tempest. <laughs> uh, go to Hall of Stars website. What the fuck? That and you can funny. stream Top of the World, uh, streaming now on Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music, and other platforms. Damn, ad time. Incredible. Incredible. Okay, so this I'm I'm sold. Let's do it. What? No, I really want to play. What? Yeah. Like what? What thing is it? What permission do we need? Like so, what exactly? How do we get this going? Let, let's talk a little bit because I feel like the, a lot of our audience, like a lot of the Tempest fans, like are also asking for it, right? Um, <clears throat> my point of view is I want to make it as accessible as possible. And if you're talking about what is the most accessible tabletop RPG system, it's got to be D&D, right? Like everybody knows <clears throat> about it. Phenomenally successful. You got like big examples of like other other big groups are doing it, like Critical Role, uh, Acquisitions mm -hmm. Incorporated, like all these, like right? So people know about it. People generally know about the rules and like they'll be able to follow along really quickly, right? We're still in the process of getting permissions for that, right? And we got to make if sure we that- we can't get uh, permissions for that, we can always go for Monster of the Week, right? Yeah, Monster of the Week is a good option. We also have World of Darkness. We already mm -hmm. have that, which is coincidentally my favorite system. But the problem okay. with World of Darkness is that it's a little bit uh, niche. Like a lot of people have never heard of it and they've never played it before. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's also not a f fantasy setting. It's like urban fantasy. It's set in, like, the modern world where there's, like, cars and airplanes and guns and stuff like that. And oh. My immersion! But, but you're, like, a supernatural creature in most of the settings. Like, you're a werewolf oh, okay. or a vampire or you're, like, a mage, you know? Mm. A mage, Are mage there any TRPGs that we can play with, like cute npc girls by any chance uh you know what, no just <laughs> just for you like i can no, just i can like, just no i'm not oh man there was this one one trpg i played uh -huh. it was like about climbing up like a mountain right it was like what climbing mountain. jump king you're playing you're no. playing like the most interesting niche Wait. you might be more experienced with like rpg trp no, okay, okay. than what, i am what do you That's mean incredible. cute npcs aren't isn't it just like in your head aren't they as like, cute as you want them to be no okay so, roll for well, attractiveness yeah you, you okay. roll a d10 to, to yeah how, no, how no, 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 no. It's like, okay, because I played online like, these, these like, TRPGs, right? Yeah, yeah. And, like, they had, like, um specially drawn, like, images and stuff, right? Like, mm. of, like let's just say, like, anime girls and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, so they they have those ready, so you get like a rougher, like a rough idea of the world, so uh-huh. you can like look at it graphically as well. Right? Yeah, on yeah. like your PC screen. That's that's how we play. Right? Yes. Yeah. Mm. So this one was about like climbing a mountain, right? Okay. She was about to fall off a cliff and die. Right? Okay. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I don't, I don't know. She slipped a foot or something, and she was about to fall off. Okay. And then like. I think this was just pure luck and stuff, but like you have to like roll a dice and you have to like hit a certain number mm-hmm. in order to save her or something. Yes, right? yeah, yeah. Ayo, finally for once I was able to save someone in that game. Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. But then like late like yeah, I mean, as I said, like the more you roleplay and the more you get into the story, you get attached to these characters, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's interesting. And I'm telling I, you, the I, NPC I, characters, you get attached to them, bro. I'm not. E- Maybe it's just me, but I get, I get attached to the NPC characters. I am real super quickly. curious as to like what this like <laughs> mountain climbing tabletop RPG. Is. Oh, okay, so I this one. Play. Do you do you know the name of it? Like, I'm gonna write it down on my notepad. If you know the um, name, even if it's in JP, it's fine. Like, I can like, I can do the Google work. I'll, like, you know, I'll look you know, it up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll look it up now. How long does a? Well, first of all, what do you call like? Is it like a session? Like a, a yes. playthrough. One session. night is a session. Um, if you're playing a TTRPG, where like oh, it, it's I just it. or what is it called? Like, I'm gonna write it down. It's at the mountains of madness. At the mountains of madness. Okay. Then, yeah. I haven't heard that before. Wait a minute. Is this? It's a book. What's this? No, that's the. It's probably no, the rule different. book. It's probably the rule book. Yeah. No, it says, is a science fiction horror novella. Oh no, that's Probably. definitely a Maybe book. It's... it's fine. I'll, I'll find yeah. it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Axel confused. Yeah. Is yeah. this some sort of? It's got pages. And Wait, like did I get baited into? You mad. got tricked into what? reading. It has a some book. kind of symbols no. on each page. I don't know. I don't know. Man, no. like a Cthulhu monster. Ah. But to so, answer Magni's question, which is, do they uh, last multiple sessions? Like how long? So you can have a one shot, which is what's advised. Like for example, if we get permissions, or if we decide to go ahead with World of Darkness, I want to do an off stream one shot, right? Mm. Where like it's one quest that you guys can finish in two to three hours, right? And then you get a feel for it whether you like it or not. Because I want you guys to have like a full veto power, like at the end of like one actual gameplay, and be like, "This is not for me. Uh, it makes me a little uncomfortable because of X and Y." And then we we back off, like because you know, we should everybody. I think should it's be all up to Desmond at that point, huh? Yeah, hopefully, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I mean. You can never tell, right? Like, there's a lot of, like, thing that goes... In, there's a lot of, like, chemistry that goes into it, but, like, we have pretty good chemistry, so I'm not really worried about that. Anyways... Really, I hate you. Uh, other oh, just, than one, just wait until we play through this, brother. Other than one-shots, you have what's called a campaign, right? And a campaign is made up of any number of sessions, and it's long. It's it's like a JRPG. Mm-hmm. It's like a 40... Not even 40 hours. Like, like there, are, there are campaigns that have... What? Last, Fuck? There are campaigns oh. that have been running for, like, 20 years. 25 years. What? Yeah. What? Um, the longest campaign that I personally have done lasted seven years, and we finished. Huh? Like we beat the twenty-five years. Yeah, we beat. That's like that's more than I have lived on this planet. Twenty-five <laughs> years. What is this? <laughs> that's more than my whole life. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> it's just. It's. I mean, could you imagine like playing? an RPG, like a JRPG, like Final Fantasy IX, but you're making this story as it goes along, and you're getting oh, stronger. Oh, that's going to be spicy. Yeah, right? And then and then the choices that you make, with a good DM that remembers the choices that you make, they could come back and bite you in the ass, like, two years later, right? Oh, no. <laughs> like, you betray, you betray a guy and leave them for dead, but the DM rolls secretly behind the screen, and they actually don't die. Like, they survive. Oh. And then they come back later, and then they, they you know, they, they, they come for you, right? <laughs> you have like interesting yeah that's like one like that. yeah. that's like one fear i still have until this day like when these like bullies used to bully my friend i think mm. i told this on stream as well and i told you guys about it yeah it's like this bully guy like bullying my friend and i broke his nose right <laughs> like, mm. i fought i fought him back and i broke his i'm still scared to this day that one day he might just appear <laughs> in front of me at night just and pop me in the dark no no no, like, no, 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 no. What, Axel? we got your back we got your back you're right <laughs> I apply just oh, to see no. my revenge on you. Like you have like you have like a face me. mask on, and then like you remove the mask, and you're the you're the bully from from from. Oh, like, yeah. oh no, Maguni, this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You don't you don't need to worry. We got your back. Like 
Oh yeah. yeah can yeah, we? Gang, I want to like, make man. my character so I can start drawing OC of it. That's oh, oh you're man. gonna oh, oh. dude. Now, I, I I played I played a campaign. I DM'd a campaign where all of the players were like pretty pretty good artists, like illustrators, animators, and then they did that, mm -hmm. and they were also drawing like the character the NPCs of note that I would introduce the story. Like you know, whole Axel was talking about are they cute? Some of them were cute. Some of them were like you know hot, and they would like draw them, and it was it was just really yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not even kidding, dude. Like, they would you get attached. Okay, but Magni, you have to be careful. Okay, you're gonna have a bit of sad time if you like get too attached into the game. Like, you're no, 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 no. You gotta get it. You gotta get, like uh, if you get. But attached, that's the fun bit. You, that's the yeah. fun bit. You gotta get attached into the game. If you get attached to your character, if you get attached, sounds fun. Yeah. Like, like, that means like what's the whole job? Well, what's the whole point of playing a TRPG if you're not gonna act, if you're not gonna role play, if you're not gonna get attached? Yeah. Right? Might as well mm, just play it. Might as well just play, you know, a normal RPG game like that you can boot up on your computer and stuff. Absolutely. These ones, you're gonna be the character, so you have to become the character, you know? Like, <laughs> well, it's not fun. It's not fun, you know. Man, and I'm you're gonna, you're gonna experience <laughs> everyone dying around you and not being able to save them as well. You're gonna experience the same thing I did, a little, little fella. <laughs> <laughs> little fella, you're gonna experience. I'm just a little guy. Come on. Come on, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't hurt a little guy, especially not on his birthday. <laughs> Roll diplomacy. You're gonna, in every time, every time. <laughs> we're in a tavern. A That's fight a diplomacy out. check. Yeah. Actually, yeah, if it, if I roll. Okay, I'm it's just a, a little guy. It's, it's, either, it's either a diplomacy check or a deception check because if it's not actually your birthday, it could also be a deception check, right? It's like one of the two. So it's kind of like which one, oh, yeah. whichever one is higher, diplomacy or deception. You're gonna roll, and I'll set the DC. So go ahead and like. Anyways, yeah. uh, we're we're going back to. All right, so <laughs> I want to skip the lecture because I I don't give a shit about the lecture anymore. I kind of want to know about like what characters you guys would want to make let's just do that right oh um and okay. we'll, we'll do like we'll do a D, D style setting you don't need to know any of the characters i just want to know and then i'll give you like examples of like what you could do that would fit into the archetype so the 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 number one question and and the thing is like a good D D fifth edition at least session should be about 50 percent 50 percent combat and 50 percent like exploration and and puzzle checks right exploration checks right mm. um but i think combat is what like everybody knows because <laughs> you play a video game you know combat right the exploration mode is a little bit more nebulous it's like you know like looking for clues and shit like that um mm -hmm. let's go with combat for today right your your <laughs> yeah. character that you're building i want to start with desmond because he already uh. knows he wants to be like an argonian right like he wants to be a lizard yeah like a lizard i'm like a lizard right? person okay how does your lizard person fight like what do they like? What do they do? They fight with a weapon? Are they like a caster? Like what do they what do they fight with? I th I think I would want to stay as far away as possible from okay. and preserve myself. So some sort of <laughs> ranged. <laughs> would it be Excuse would it be me? like a bow or crossbow or would it be like through magic? Like what would be what would be? The... I like magic because if I'm gonna be Ooh. in a fantasy set, because I I you know, let, let's do it. Let's do it. You know, I, I want like some sort of phantasmical. Okay. Thing. Okay. Um, Can I summon stuff? Is that like an archetype? There are actually. Yeah, I want like yeah. minions and like. What? How do you oh. imagine your minions? Like, what do they look like? <laughs> uh, some something like very scary. So demonic in origin, not not like because uh, you could summon like you can summon like a horse. Or like a moose, and it would just like oh. kick. It would kick your opponent in the face, right? And no, no, die. no. I imagine like, like something demonic, like demons, like horrors beyond the imagination. Like, yeah. I mean, we talked about, or maybe not like horrific, but we were talking about Overlord, and you know how that one village girl gets given the horn and she oh. summons the goblins <laughs> yeah. to like fight yeah, yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I like, yeah, I like the idea yeah, of yeah, having yeah, like nah. people serve me and do my bidding, maybe. Definitely. You could be like a lizard shaman. That's pretty cool. Like, being a shaman. So, I, or I the believe... exact opposite. I'm jacked and I weird like wield like a great sword. <laughs> oh. It's like two extremes. You could, you could do whatever you want. Yeah, like you could make even. All right. So, so when I when I am the game master and I'm and I'm dungeon and I'm like running a game for people, right? I ask people to have two characters, like in case you die. <laughs> And you will uh, die, right? Like, because there are stakes in the game, and if you make a mistake, you will die, right? Um, I, w I like all of my players to have a secondary character ready to go so that they could be found in a closet somewhere, right? <laughs> and you're not just sitting there for the rest of the session just, like, nothing to do, right? Um, 
So definitely you could have like a beefy character on standby, right? Like a great sword, you know? Um, I'm zeroing in on like what type of character you would make. So the final question is you're a caster that summons like elementals or like demons. Little fellas, like yeah. yeah. Like little fellas, right? Um, the final question is so you're a magic user. Like you have you have magical abilities, right? Mm -hmm. Did you gain them through studying or are they like an inborn, like natural, like you just, you just. Oh, I like the idea of, of like, it's like a monkey's paw thing, like a deal with the devil, some sort uh, of cursed like warlock. Yeah. type of ish thing. Yeah. yeah, definitely a warlock then. But I think warlocks, it's, it takes a while to get to this. They don't have that many summoning abilities. They have like two, I think, if I remember correctly. What can I, I summon straight off the bat? Mm, a bat. Pretty much nothing. I think at level three you gain the ability to summon like a like an imp type creature. Yeah. And probably then, for the one shot, we'd probably just like start at level three, right? Yeah, or probably something like that. And does then, my and, summons can they gain sentience? Yes, they're, they're sentient. Like uh, so, yeah. Pack of the chain is what you would be using as a warlock. I remember that word sentience. Yeah. Another. <laughs> another oh my god. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Yeah. I was <laughs> yeah, sounds like a warlock. <laughs> not the best summoner, but you can summon things like as a. Oh, warlock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. no, no, no! I'm not. I'm not looking to be some unoptimal. What is a warlock? <laughs> a warlock is a caster, like, <laughs> like lightning bolt, fireball. Yes, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I could, I can get down with that. The best way to Do describe a warlock is that they have, they have the least amount of variability in the spells that they can use. Right, like it's a very small spell pool. And mm. so it makes them easier to use for somebody that's never played a caster before because, all right, so D&D 5th edition, the casters, they, like, one, one sixth of the book, one, one eighth of the book is just a list of every spell that you learn. And it's got, like, a description and it's got, like, a bunch of rules associated with it and you just have to study. It's like, it's like, you have to take, uh, it takes a long time to learn how to do that. Is crap. there, yeah. is there a, a, a class or something that transforms into, like, some sort of battle-ready creature uh druids can shapeshift um oh there's a really really good ability called polymorph that you get at a much much higher level and it allows you to transform both yourself and other people into animals that you've like seen before that are within like a certain like challenge like difficult like certain level we'll just say we'll just call mm -hmm. it a level right um those are options that you can do yeah <laughs> i don't know I feel like I'd have to sit down and look like at some kind of master list. Yeah, I I think um, warlock. I think is I good. like something magical. Yeah, warlock is good to start because warlock mm -hmm. is a full caster. It's just stripped down and way more simple than other casters. Ah, but then again, I can't feel that rush of slitting a man's throat in my hands. Oh, you can I'm... still do that. You can still do that. <laughs> can I? Okay. Yeah, yeah you can still I mean, do you that. I mean, you can really do anything. It's just that if you want to slit someone's throat, you're going to need a knife and you're going to need the item for it. That's, if, that's if, all you need. Yeah, if they're incapacitated or, or like knocked out, if they're asleep and you have like a bladed weapon, you can you can basically just like do what you just mm. said. I'm not yeah, going to say it if, it's not say so, but like you can just, you know, <laughs> yeah, you, you can, can just them. you can be hitman too, you know. <laughs> okay, roll for initiative, curb stomp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I think I think Magni would be a warlock for sure. Um, which is a, which wait? Is a really do, good are there classes where it's like a little guy, like a little like furry, like small little <laughs> creature, uh, Stella, like, like a halfling or like a gnome, or do you mean like? Uh, An more animal. more furry, more furry type uh, of. In fifth edition, I can't think of any that are canon off the top of my head, but there's a bunch of like homebrews that you could do. Yeah, kind of like a yordle in League of Legends. Like a yordle, yeah. Something there's no, like there's that. no, there's no canon. Yeah, there's no oh. in the canon, but like, um, yeah, like people are mentioning like kobolds, like, which is weird because the original kobolds were kind of like lizard-like. But, um, anyways, um, you can you can homebrew stuff. You know, like you could look up. There, there are entire forums of people that just make up, like, D and D. Wait, can I be a centaur? Centaur, centaur. Mm, no, I don't. Oh, think isn't so. that like cow man? Centaur. Is cow, like man? A cow man. No, that's isn't you're, it? You're, you're thinking of a minotaur. You're thinking uh, of a minotaur. What's a, yeah. what's a centaur? A centaur is a, okay. is a horse uh, body and then a human. I'll stick like, with the lizard person ah. and some sort of magician. Yeah, warlock. I think would be good. Warlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have like a big strong boy. I played like, Warlock in Destiny. 
You guys ever play Destiny? I did. A tiny bit. It's a good game, yeah. Anywho, we could move Owlman on. Axel, what type of what type of uh, what type of character would you? Me. Yeah, he, he, Axel's like, yeah. Do they have like lizard people? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't know, man. You... Like, because I haven't, I didn't, I haven't played anything that turned like that makes me like into a special creature. Before. Yeah, I've never played. I, it's always like you're because you know, like yeah, yeah, because like Call of Cthulhu. Is like oh, you're always yeah. on the weaker side. You're always just the normal yeah. human being that has no special power yeah. against like Absolutely. divine creatures. Yeah. Mm. So I've never actually, yeah, I've never, I've never um, thought about a battle TRPG. I've never you, done. I've never played one before. I mean, you know a lot about the Final Fantasy, like. Stuff, yeah, right? I guess. Like, yeah, mm. so it could just be like. I want to be like Vincent from Seven. Vincent's pretty cool. Vincent's I guess every the guy with a gun. Yeah, the guy with a gun. He's like. What is he? I don't even know. Like, there's a gunslinger homebrew that you could use if you yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. He's like, you know, every Chuny Bill would want to be like Vincent, right? <laughs> there's, there's, just nothing, like... there's nothing wrong with playing a human. Like humans are like one of the stronger races, like in in D and D. Like you could, you oh, could play really? a human. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! You didn't tell me there was some kind of implicit stats to the, oh, to the race. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Else. Wait a minute. Yep. <laughs> Give him the shittiest one, yeah. Well, like well, why don't you just be, just be a cow man? Just be a cow man. For a warlock, <laughs> Dragonborn is actually not bad. They have the charisma boost. Strength See, is a little bit iffy. You don't this really is what strength. I hated in MMORPGs. I wanted to play like the race I want to play and the class I want to play, but then mm -hmm. I feel pigeonholed into picking the optimal class race like combination. Yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, that. it makes sense in like role playing. It makes more sense in in like a role playing scenario. Yeah, but Axel, I see, I see that. Why are you typing that? Oh, oh. You, oh no, you saw it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the min the min maxing element is they're called munchkins in, in the in the D and D like <laughs> even just like broad the broader like tabletop. Like somebody that min maxes way too much is just called a munchkin and they just they just mm. Yeah. <laughs> and that in its own way can be fun, but it could also like kind of be a buzz kill. Mm. When you're when you're playing in a group and mm. one person is like far and away stronger than everybody else because they've like that is optimized true. their build, I don't. I personally don't ask people not to if they want to because you should have fun the way that you want to play. But mm. if if we're progressing in the story and it's starting to affect the fun of the other players that are not optimized, I will mm. usually like away from the session, approach all parties, and just be like, "Hey, can we do a little bit of like rebalancing so that we can bring up the not lower the strength of the optimized person, but maybe increase the strength of the other mm. party members?" Is everybody going to be everybody going to be okay with so, that? So you know, yeah. Do the different races have like their own languages? Yes, they do. Yeah, but um, <laughs> okay, there, so there is there is would... a language called common that everybody should know. Although I've played a campaign where one of the players wanted to not know common. And that was a That's part of their true. lore. And they had so, to communicate uh, through another party member that knew the language that they knew. And it was really cool. It was actually like really interesting in a lot of ways. Because uh, I'd want to... I, I, I'm, I haven't played any of this before, but I, yeah. I really want to get into role playing. I, yeah. It's so there, there fun. Must be, fun. I'm, I'm assuming it's, so fun. it's been a thing for so long. So like the yeah. lizard people, for example, I'm sure people have like established some sort of, I guess not canon, but like these are your names that lizard people would have these are like mm -hmm. kind of these traits associated with like these races and stuff i'm assuming like yes. the fans have kind of like created over time yes yeah right yeah um, wait but so what's like the strongest race and what's the weakest race uh all right <laughs> you you want me to like min max and tell you about like the state of D D? okay yeah sure okay. sure I'm done. um as your as your plate the rules as written you're not doing anything homebrew you're not doing anything else to like balance it Probably the like, probably in terms of like combat, the strongest race is probably a variant human, human, because What's a variant human, a variant human. Oh. So there's like two types of humans that you can play. One type just gives you one of every stat, and and that's it basically, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other yeah. type of human, you can get one in in two different stats of your choice, and they get a feat, and a feat is incredibly overpowered. Oh, it's like it's... on a different freaking level, man. So like it's it's just insanely overpowered. The feet. Okay. You choose... No, so shut, you have up, like chat. Foot... shut up. I'm not talking about like the feet, <laughs> the the body part. I'm talking about a F E A T, like a feet. Oh my god. Ah, oh, okay. Stinky I thought it was. Feet. I thought oh, it was the feet. God. I was like, why? Why does it? 
Why does holding your feet make you stronger? I was like, is that a weapon or something? I'm like, just so, I'm so tired. We should just go play Fall Guys. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna move on. <laughs> Yeah, the, like the like so a feat is like a special skill that you can get, right? And Ooh, okay. in gameplay, when you're playing D and D Fifth Edition, when you get so at regular intervals, so I think it's like level. It depends on the class that you're playing, right? But the first time that anybody can get it is level four. When you get to level four, you can increase your stats, right, and get stronger stat wise. Or you can elect to say, I don't want to increase my stats. I want a feat, right? And you gain a special ability, right? It could either be passive or it could be like an active thing that you gain. It's a, it's a, it's a it's an ability or a trait that you get from a list, a big old freaking list, right? And as a variant human, you can get that at level one instead of level four. And if you choose the correct one and you build your character correctly, you could just do a comp just an insane like you could do over double the amount of damage as like. The next, it's just stupid. Damn, it sounds like tactics to me, dude. Yeah. The human race is always the strongest yeah. in the I, end. As a, DM, like... as a DM, I'm always a little bit wary when I'm playing with, a, when I'm like DMing for a new character, a new player, and they come in with a variant human. I'm just kind of like, oh, they're a munchkin. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah, Yeah. because well, if you're a new player, why would you ever pick something like that? Because it sounds boring. Yeah, you can just be that in real life. You know, you can just whip out a mm. gun and stop being like well, feet, gun, oh. <laughs> and just blasting people. You know? That, no, that being, no, no, that no, being no, said, no, no. like, the point of the game is to have fun and to build a story, right? Like, you're basically writing a book with, with a bunch of people that you like, your friends, right? Mm -hmm. Building a story. You're writing a you're writing a book, like a novel, like a Lord of the Rings style novel with your friends, and you all have a hand yeah. in in the action that causes it. Like that's the that's the mindset that you should be going into. And if you want a character that's cracked, as a DM, I would allow you to do that. And if you didn't know how to do that because you were the it was the first time that you're playing, I would sit you down, probably away from the other players, and then teach you how to make an optimized character. I would let you do that and I would help you along that, you know? Because you should be oh, able to Oh, this sounds fun. really fun. Yeah. It's all about having fun and also making sure that your friends are having fun too. I feel like that's the main thing that a lot of new mm. players don't understand. They don't understand mm. that like your your friends should be having fun too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I want to see all like the certain races that you can pick in the. Yeah, we can we can go the, over that for sure. And then and then I'll pick from that. I can't come up with like the only two races that I can come up with is like the lizard man type that Magni mentioned. What about elves, or, like, a, dwarves? Halflings. Wait, like, I just sent you guys a. Is this like the list? Is it? D &D my boy, or? my boy is already googling oh, the meta. I love it. Yep, that's it right there. That's Wait, good. there's a lot of different ones. Yeah. You're holding back. There's Dragonborn as well. Dragonborn is what you what you are. A lizard man. Mm -hmm. The lizard guy. Oh. Yeah. What? Changeling. I Centaur. See, see, we're the, we're the two brainy members of Tempest. Like, I love that. Like, I would be doing what Dez is doing. I would just immediately Google, like, Wait, Herangon. Damn, Kenku. Kenku looks so <laughs> Herangon, Kenku, this is what right. I was... Kenku are high high level, okay? Kenku are really, really high level because they have a, they have a trait that I, will, I would enforce very, very strictly if you wanted to play a Kenku. Kenku don't talk. They imitate. They mimic oh, other I, noises. I, I can't do that. Fuck that. I can't do that. I, yeah. I can't do that. Kenku, I Kenku have to don't, talk. Kenku, Kenku <laughs> can't communicate the normal way that other people communicate. They're they're like parrots, right? Like where you could teach them a phrase and then they they remember the phrase and then they could like they can know what the <laughs> phrase does when they say it. Like feed me, right? And then oh, they no, get yeah, no, I, 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 I can't do that. I can't be a Kenku. Kenku is Ken, Kenku are high level and and. I know some DMs that are like, well, people want to play a bird type, a bird person type character, mm -hmm. and they'll be like, I will, I will waive the rule, and you could, you could communicate like a normal person. I'm kind of in Kenku this one respect, it's kind of because Kenku are actually like pretty good. They're decent. This one's just called Tortle, and they're like, yeah, they're turtle. Turtle. yeah, they're a turtle, yeah, they're a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you, wow. do you so want to be a turtle person? Like, you don't want to be a lizard? Well, I don't. There's a lot now. There's a lot in here. Oh, oh what's Tabasi? Tabasi looks kind of cool too. Not yeah, gonna lie. yeah. Tabasi is uh, the the cat people, right? I think. Are they Wait, like? There's... Do they like steal shit? I want to be like the people who steal shit, dude. Kashit is innocent. Like... <laughs> Kashit is innocent of this crime. <laughs> huh? What? What? What did he say? Oh huh? my gosh, he doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't Wait. know. Wait, Wait I can't... what? Is this there another old man? There reference? are centaurs. You lied to me. 
It's probably Centaurs. it's probably not in like the the PHB, right? It's probably it's probably not even. Oh, in... are there like booster packs? Yeah, type, there's like supplementary. Like... There's like supplementary oh stuff. And if anything, it would probably be uh, Unearthed Arcana UA, which is like test material. It's not. It's not like UA? canon. Oh At worst case, goodness. it might be like homebrew. You know? Yeah. Have there ever been bards that bring like a little loot to the table? Yes. Yeah. Toss me a. Yeah. I had I had a player that was not professional, but like in a band, right? Like not like oh. like a signed band, but like he was in a band. And, <laughs> and, like, and he can actually, you hear me? Wow! No, yeah, like like whenever he was like doing like a whenever he was like casting a spell as a bard, he had like a little like fifteen second ditty that he would sing. Like that <laughs> spell. it was actually pretty cool. It was actually really cool. Wait, okay, Axel, you gotta come. You gotta. Come up with something. Dude, if Axel was our bard, that would, like, be awesome. <laughs> Yo, I was the so bard good. in chivalry. I was playing. <laughs> I remember That's that. That's true. Yeah, I remember Wait, that. Wait, so what does the bard do? A bard? I, 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 all I remember from you guys talking about the bard was that bard sleeps with many different people. No, and I don't want to do you that. You don't have to do that. I don't, you can do that I with wanna, any character. I want to be, I want to be, you know, I want to be a, a nice man, you know? I don't want to sleep with too many different girls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to be, what do you call stay it? Stay respectful. Like, yeah, stay respectful. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> well, okay. Well, <laughs> Why do you sound so let's, let's set aside the Let's set aside the question of like what race you want your character to be. What? How does your character fight? Like imagine your character fighting uh, a bunch of goblins. So you want me to be a bard though, right? No, no, you, how no, 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 no. You do what you want to do. Do exactly what you want. Like, uh, yeah. You how would I fight? Yeah, like what, what weapon would you use? Would you be a magic caster? Would you be like a melee weapon? Would oh, you nah. Use a bow? I'm not like, going to be a magic caster. Okay. I want to use like daggers oh. and shit, dude. A bard, like, a bard is ooh. a caster, so you shouldn't be a bard then. You want to use daggers. You want to be a rogue? Rogue sounds about right. Like a thief? Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, I want to be a thief. I want to just steal mm -hmm. shit, you know? <laughs> cheeky just, little steel. Yeah, yeah, I would be like, "Oh, that armor looks nice." And steal that man's arm. You know, like I, f I feel like you've played tactics like yes. before. Right? You yeah. told me play tactics, right? Yeah. And you know how like the thief role, they have weapon steel, armor steel, and yes. those kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do something along that. You know, that is I want to, oh. I want to steal their weapon and stuff. You know, so like I don't want to fight. I want to mentally fight them by stealing this shit and making them go in shambles. Like, no. We would, we no. would probably need to think up like a like a homebrew system for you to steal weapons that they're holding because I don't think there's anything in the rules that allow you to do that. And Can if you do that as a monk? As like one of those shadow monks or whatever it is? I, I don't think so, actually. And mm. especially especially armor that you have to equip. Especially armor. Oh, no, they have. It's called disarm. Chat's saying, oh, that's disarm. Maybe disarm. Yeah, you can disarm. It. There's like a rule set for that, but that means like okay. that's pretty. It's pretty impractical in combat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, battle master hmm. fighter can disarm. I know what you're talking about. You could be a fighter, I guess. Um, I but, mean, I want I want to try being a mage as well because I'm usually in the front line. Right? Like when I go. If on, you're I'm, not like, in combat and the person that you're trying to steal from doesn't hasn't detected you, right? Yeah, I would. I would just like just be like slate of hand. Like you sneak up to them and then you steal like what they have, right? Which is normally like impractical because like a sword. If you want to steal their sword, it's mm -hmm. like arcane trickster. It's like secured to a belt in a way that like you can't really take it off very easily, right? But we do we do rule of cool, and it's kind of like I want you to have fun and play the game that you want to play. And I would just yeah. I would just allow you to like you know steal weapons. Yeah, what's arcane trickster? What's arcane? That sounds cool, man. Arcane trickster. An arcane trickster is a is a rogue subclass that gives you Oh yeah, I'll go at, with at that. At a yeah. very very Sign low level wizard, So are there wizard 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 like abilities. is there is like a system of like skills and skill points? You say you're you're alluding to like levels. You can't mention levels. So yeah. there is some sort of system. Yes, yeah. So you I'll level up, up, you gain HP, yeah. you gain you gain abilities, stat points, you gain new Hmm. And it can, right, it can get up. a little bit complicated, but what I like to do is, if we're playing with like paper sheets, I like to have your level up ready beforehand. Like I sit down with you and I give you like, when you level up, you're gonna do this, and then you have a second sheet ready to go. And then when you level up, you don't need to, you don't need to stop and spend thirty minutes like bubbling in new stuff. You can just put the new sheet on top and then jump in there. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's all about like minimizing downtime because downtime can be a killer. Like when you're. When you're hanging out playing D, D night and you've only got like two or three hours to play with people and, and you know like anyways um 
what are we talking about? We're talking about Axel, right? Like, what do we want? What he would want to play? Isn't isn't it Altair next after Mike? I want to be Arcane Trickster. So that sounds kind of cool. A rogue, you know, yeah. You use, pretty you cool. use magic, but then at the same time, you steal other people's shit. Right? That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's like two for one. That's a whole package, dude. Right damage there. is also decent. Like, it's not going to okay. be like top top tier damage, but like you you always do like comparable damage. You know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's fine with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. An all rounder. You, yeah. You know what? You know what Altair should be? He should be a lich. Oh, what? You should be the lich. I am kind of. Now, lich what would cause you to say that? <laughs> oh, no. oh, stay away from me, demon lord. <laughs> Dude, I think that Axel should be like uh, an orc or something. I think they have like negative hmm. two to intelligence, right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> No, yeah, well, you should be, you should be, you should be, uh, you should be, let me look at the, let me look at the web page. What, what should you? <laughs> you should while, be while a hobgoblin. A hobgoblin. <laughs> Wait, I like the satyr. The satyr looks cool too. Satyr? They Is look fun. Satyr class? For me, like, tiefling would be, because this tiefling is also like, they've got hooved, like, feet, right? And they've got mm -hmm. horns and stuff like that. They're also kind of like satyrs, but they're also in the, like, the original, like, rule set. Like, the PHB, the Player's Handbook. But anyways, mm. Altair, like, you've, you've played before, so you actually know. I've been thinking a little yeah, bit. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> what do you got? I was thinking about, well, in order to round out the party, um, we have a rogue, and we have a druid. Uh, warlock? Uh, warlock? Warlock, yeah. Um, I was thinking either paladin or, uh, or cleric. Since we need frontline, um, I'd be fine doing frontline as a paladin. Yeah. At the same time, I can still be frontline as a cleric, and you know we need healing, so Ooh, I'd probably go healer. pretty solid, pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably go life domain or something. Mm. That's a good party. I wasn't even thinking about the party comp. What uh, what race would you? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's good to have. It's not good to have, for example. Or well, actually, one of the most enjoyable can campaigns that I GM'd was a party of five people and they were all bards and they were a band <laughs> <gasps> and that was actually pretty fun they called it the the bardy the bardy <laughs> they didn't call it that like they, they named their band like they had an actual name and yeah it was actually pretty funny um but yeah like what as a paladin or a cleric like which, mm. what race would you would you choose probably well we need someone that can see in the night so probably half elf because yep. half-elf can be for both paladin and uh, cleric. So. Yeah. You're yeah, a munchkin. Yeah. <laughs> You're munchkinning. I'll just go elf then, okay? Jesus Christ. <laughs> be who you want to be. Yo, why don't you be a fairy? That sounds crazy. Be who you want to be. Why don't you get that popping out of your mic? How about that? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, they're fighting. They're fighting. Mom, dad. <laughs> no, but for real, though, you, your mic is doing the popping thing, Des. What? Ah, it's it's fine. Pop, 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 but yeah, pop, 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 that that's pretty pop, 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 pop. much that's pretty much what we do if we can get permissions. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I had actually want to play. I had another right. idea because I've actually made I, I I took the world of darkness like rule set with the dice and like all of the skills and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then I bolted on like hunter hunter to it. So it's like you have, <gasps> you have Nen. Um, I've never even. But I don't know if we could do that because it's also like IP, right? We could we could just be like, I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> You could also I've do stuff like that. It, so. Yeah. Oh, you never watched it? Oh. Is it better to read or watch Hunter X Hunter? Watch it. Watch it. Ooh, that's a yeah. tough one. Yes, Let sir. 2011 one. Madhouse. Hunter Hunter. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Is the animation comparable to like The animation is, is top notch. It's better than Naruto. Like no no. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's just animation is so way. good. Yeah, I, I would say Hunter Hunter. I'm I'm kind of like a manga fan. Like I lean towards manga, but I think mm, I have same. to go with Des here that like it's it's worth watching. It's it's really good. The music is really good. Like all of the voice acting is really good. It's actually decent. I think the dub is decent too. It's like not bad. It's pretty good. Mm. So whether you go dub or sub, like it's just like it's a really like well produced. Yes, sir. Anime. Yeah. I'll start it after Eva. Nice, nice. Oh, that's right. You're gonna watch through yeah uh, i i really want to get like a like a ttrpg stream off the, off the ground so i'm excited i feel i out. feel teased now because now we <laughs> yeah. gotta do some waiting or, or something let's, let's do a thing, one shot stream yeah like even if we can't get permissions like we we just like hanging out 
no matter what, right? Like it doesn't matter. Like we could just we could just play behind the scenes. Yeah, we could just, we could just play. It. Like if you guys are on board, like, let's play, like <laughs> the viewers can miss out on the good. <laughs> let's just play like <laughs> next weekend or something. We like that. We'll do like fun. a one shot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm game for that. I'll, I'll prepare something and then maybe we could do like a yeah. one shot off stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Members yeah. only. <laughs> <laughs> we can only do Ooh. this like before we have memberships up. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh but it's gonna be like very fun i'm not even kidding this shit is like so fun yeah it's really yeah good. it's super fun you know what else is good murder mystery is pretty fun as well yes murder mystery. Yep. yeah murder mystery. it's a bit different but yeah Dog if you want to explain mm -hmm. uh scholar vesper i mean i mean it's it's pretty much it's it's less of a role-playing game because you don't really have stats and your characters are more like generic you're you're you know you're investigators right and and yeah. it's more story based like it's 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 less about your characters that you're you're talking about. yeah it's 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 different like there's different mm -hmm. ways types of tabletop games that you can play it's not just rpgs right like um yeah like like strategy war game simulation type games right like they're not they're they're tabletop games but they're not RPGs. So like the big yeah. one is, is Warhammer, Warhammer 40k. Like you guys must have heard of that <sighs> if you've never played it. That's that's like a tabletop game, but not an RPG. It's a it's a war game sim. And and those are really fun too, right? Um Yeah. There's just a lot of different do war game sim, just just read Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's all just war, 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 that's war. That's why war. I love Kingdom. It's so good. Anyways, <laughs> we're, we're getting off topic. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I think I think we're good. I I don't really feel the need to talk because I had a mini lecture about like the history of TTRPGs and how they influenced games like Final Fantasy D and uh, Dragon Quest and stuff like that. But it, that's really like irrelevant. <laughs> that's mm. just that's just me talking at a captive audience, which is you know I feel like we had a pretty good session. I am excited yeah. because like you guys all seem like you would be on board. You know you can never tell until oh, I'm we play. So down. We play like I'm so down session. to get in the character and voice acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, I might we'll... not do the voice acting, but I'm so down to get into character. It's like dude. you would be oh, like me. I'm the paladin of the group. <laughs> oh my <God>. fucking goblin. <laughs> <laughs> you goblin. Perfectly okay to talk in the third person. That's pretty much how I would play if I was a player. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we could call it. It's a pretty good. It's a pretty yeah. good. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for thank you for attending the lecture that turned into basically what we normally do. When we get together, right? We basically just... <laughs> yeah. This is literally like off stream. Yeah, we just we like do. shoot the shit <laughs> and, and it yeah. kind of morphed into it. We're not even kidding. We, we We're not kinda, even kidding. This we is... kind of had a theme, and and you know, like it worked. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it, it was worked. Fun. Yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get this going. I we'll feel like going. everyone's been teased a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll try to get this going ASAP. Mm, cool, yeah. cool, cool. We'll we'll dish it out to our manager son yeah so i guess uh we'll, we'll end the stream thank you for coming everybody mm -hmm. are we are we jumping into yeah. fall guys we're gonna do that sonic oh i'm down let's play okay okay everybody i'm down you. to play anything thank you for watching um bye 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 everybody Take care. bye bye buy our merch <laughs> buy our merch <laughs> buy our merch like stream music per person <laughs>